blogger.com versus google sites which of the platform is better for your blogs and websites in 2021 let's start so we all know that blogger.com and google sites both are provided by google now blogger and google site are actually very different as by the name you can tell that blogger.com is for blogs mainly and then google sites is for the website and you can actually create a blog on google site as well but the theme and everything of google site actually gives you an idea to create a website now the features they offer and what are their main differences and the difference between their seo or you know how they work and what are if they provide you any profit so that what i will be talking about so let's go to blogger.com first now on blogger.com you actually have a very good opportunity to create seo friendly content so that's the point for blogger.com. You can actually go ahead and add different customized keywords and you can actually play around your blog a lot and it gives you a lot of options. Like for example, the title and then the headings and everything and the keywords and if you can add labels, you can add your permalink, your location and different options as well. So you can actually add different links and everything in your blog. So that actually helps you with your SEO friendly content and you can add description, you can add different tags and labels. So in this regard, blogger.com is actually very SEO friendly. But on the other hand, if we go to Google Sites, now google sites is very bad in seo let me just say that because it's not seo friendly why i'm saying that because you can see right here this is the website it's actually a website that i created and how to create again i just want to give a little disclaimer that how to create a blog on blogger.com and how to create a website on google sites there are already videos on this channel you can go ahead and check them out so this is the website that i actually created now creating this website you can see that i can actually add different text i can add titles and subtitles and things like that but when it comes to seo google site is not providing what we are looking for the website looks good like you can add images and your website does look you know a beautiful website if i go to my second page and show you this was the second page that i created and when you like look at the website you're like okay this is a cool website but it's not helping you with seo so that's a very major drawback of google sites and there are not that many labels and different tags that you can add on your website or you can add you know uh, different descriptions and things like that so that's actually very not you know helpful for most of the people if you are looking for websites and it's actually a very big con for google sites because nowadays there are different website creating platforms that actually provide you with a lot of seo friendly options so that's that and then we can go to blogger.com again so if we look at right here on blogger.com you can see that i can actually check out the stats for my blog on blogger site and you will be able to see that how many posts you have and all these stats it's actually providing you and then you can check out different commands and then earnings this is what i will talk next and then there is pages now that's the thing on blogger the pages we create on google site google site actually allows you to create pages different sub pages and you can create a sub page of a sub page so that's actually good in this matter i would say i liked google site that it actually allowed me to create different sub pages for my website and if i wanted to 
organize my content and divide my content then google sign actually provided me with that but on blogger you actually have your blog and we like the layout of you know uh, as something that's like the blogs actually do not have that many pages and we are not looking for complicated things we just want our blog to be organized and you know a little professional so that's why i think everybody likes to you know keep one page on everything so yeah in that matter i think google site has a good option of like then let me show you around the before we jump to earnings let me show you around the websites real quick also that this is like blogger.com we know that and then if we go to settings you will be able to have your own description of that and then there is this option for you if you do not want your content to be shown and there is a requirement age requirement you can add that as well then there are different permissions for the comments and everything so you can actually customize them and then there is email option for meeting and tags of course that i said it allows you to create different tags and links and everything so that's actually very cool when we go to google sites then we are on the google sites and if we go to the settings of google site you can see that there are not many options available but you can go ahead and check out these stats here as well and there are different options for you for example there are themes available and you can actually add a lot of things for example images and youtube videos and maps and documents that are not available in blogger.com but again i'm saying this this is for the blogs and this is for the sites so it has a lot of other options that a site might need and what you will might need to create an awesome website so yeah that's that and then we will go to earnings now you can see right here this is a very big difference in blogger.com and google site you can actually earn through your blog on blogger.com and that's actually a very big advantage because everybody likes to earn and you can actually earn to blogger.com what you have to do is create your adsense account and then you have your blog but on google site you cannot earn money you cannot ads on your website that's a big drawback so that actually gives an idea of google sites google sites is actually for like basic websites if you have a youtube channel or something like that so you can go ahead and create a simple website but if you have like you want to earn money through it or you have these e-commerce business then you cannot i think create a website on google sites so talking about the earning so you can go to google adsense and right here you will see that you can actually add it to your you can create an account right here and then google you can put ads on your blogs and earn money through it and you can see all of your earnings right here on blogger.com but as we talk about google sites it does not provide this option so when you're not adding ads on your blogs and it actually before i tell you that let me tell you that there are different restrictions when you're adding ads on your blog for example you have to have 10 blogs and amount of views that google adsense actually requires for you to add different ads on your blog so that will actually take some time but once you do that blogger.com is more profitable than google sites so when you make a blog on blogger.com you will earn money and it will give you profit you're just adding your blogs and you're earning money and it will become a profitable business for you but when we talk about google sites it is less profitable than blogger.com so yeah that actually brings us to the end of the video and again i'm saying this that if you are looking to create a blog you can go ahead and create an awesome blog on blogger.com and if you're looking for a website creating platform then you can go to google sites so yeah that's it for today's video i hope that i was a big help to you and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel